Hey guys, we're here in Seattle at the Seattle Seahawks Stadium, but we're filming for the Seattle Sounders Major League Soccer team. Uh, we're using the Defy Rhythm Track. This is a system that we've been working on for quite some time, and we're kind of showing it off here for Major League Soccer. This is a 100-foot track, and we're literally building, um, we have the riser that just puts our lens and a camera right above the ribbon boards for uh, the LED screens. And what's really unique about this system is that it's a, all of it's a single operator. We were able to lay out 100 feet of track in about 30 minutes. We literally set the system on, put the two batteries in, put the EX2, the 250 uh, on our Mitchell riser, plugged it in, we went back and started operating. So it's incredibly fast to get set up and actually get on the track and actually get pictured. But one of the great things about it is with the EX250 on the riser, we also have a digital riser that goes up and down, puts the lens about seven feet. But here we're using a fixed riser. But the great thing is it's literally you push one button. It does everything. It tunes the camera. You have focus, iris, zoom. You have color, RCP control, or we can send it back to the truck. Wireless, all that. We are choosing to run this on um, on, on a SDI for our, our camera feed back, we're shooting actually uh, direct to the truck, so they are uh, going to do hardwire, but this can easily just go wireless as well. On the sled itself, it uses two batteries, so two 48 volt batteries will run the whole sled plus the camera and all the accessories for about eight to 10 hours. The system is very safe because it drives to the left, it auto has a, it has a sensor underneath, a LiDAR sensor and a spring sensor, and the spring sensor basically hits the, um, the set bolt that we have in the track and it sets an end stop to the left it does the same to the right so the operator really never has to set the end stop he can just drive it to the sensor it'll automatically set that or he can choose to bring the end stops in and digitally set them on the control and then lastly we have physical stops on the track obviously for extra safety redundancy so you have multiple levels of safety for the system itself but the setup is super simple uh, very easy to use all built for a single operator and then in the center of this uh, console or the center of the um, sled itself we have multiple voltage outputs 14 volt 24 volt 48 volt and you have ethernet all built into the sled this is about as good as it gets for simplicity uh, quick setup and just ease of use for full operation. So really excited for the game tonight. We're going to get this up and going for the truck and uh, give them some looks.